Hello, and welcome to this quick demonstration on modeling a bulbous bow to an existing bare hull surface. My name is Heinrich, I'm with Friendship Systems. This demonstration is based on a feature definition that allows to choose an existing surface and on that surface an isoperimetric curve, which is then mapped onto any spatial target curve while the underlying surface follows along. We are looking at a fully parametric model here, a surface model which so far features a simple box gag but no bulbous bow. The uh, majority of the forebody of this hull model consists of one single surface, so the uh, first step of this demonstration will be splitting that surface into subsurfaces so that we have our initial surface which we then can turn into the bulbous bow later on. So I'm positioning manually uh, those control points here in the 3D window and uh, connect them with a B-spline curve which I will then in the next step project onto my initial surface of the forebody here. That projection curve then serves as the basis of a subsurface which uh, will be the starting point for the bulbous bow modeling. By simply copying that subsurfaces, uh, surface and swapping the index here, I can uh, make sure that I also have surfaces that cover the remainder of the initial forebody. Um, uh, um, just for convenience here, creating image surfaces of the two subsurfaces so that I can easily uh, copy and uh, paste the formatting options of the initial surfaces here. Um, just tuck away uh, whatever is not needed anymore uh, and then copy the, the format here, increase the display resolution a little bit so that we get a smooth visual of what is going on here. I've highlighted the part that is most interesting for the upcoming steps here in green and uh, now comes the interesting part. This feature definition is what I've quickly described in the introduction to this video. Basically, it allows to choose an isoparametric curve and then map that onto any target curve that is given in space. So I've set um, tangency constraints to the two ends here so that I will match the initial edge of the surface at the ends. But then in between, I'm free to move those three control points here to create the contour or the outline of the bulbous bow that I would like to, to have later on. So that initial green surface now has been um, morphed, so to say, to that new surface. And if I mirror that here and then look from the top, you can see that this is uh, still way too sharp at the waterline entry. So what we're going to do is uh, basically just the exact, uh, exact same thing one more time, only that this time we're not mapping the initial edge of a surface, but uh, an isoparametric curve at 0 0.5 in this case, so somewhere along the maximum thickness position of the bulbous bow. Uh, we're not constraining the tangent at the forward end of the bulbous bow here, and then by detaching this feature, we are able to manually drag those control points in 3D space and establish the maximum thickness contour of the final bubbles bow here. Um, I'm doing this in two different planes to ensure that the curve looks, looks nice and smooth while I'm hiding the surfaces. And then when I turn them back on, you can see that and now we already have something that uh, looks quite decent here. Again, I'm increasing the display resolution here just to make sure that I get a better visual on the smoothness of the uh, buttocks and sections that are shown in 3D view here. The feature that was used to create those surfaces also created this design variable called mapping factor which allows to set the amount um, by which the target contours are actually matched. So if I reduce this factor here you can see that we can now choose 
uh, anything in between the initial bear hull to a bulbous bow that perfectly matches the two target contours that we have drawn in 3D space. Looking from the side here at the control point of the thickness distribution, you can see that by dragging those points around, uh, again, I have a very good control uh, over the shape of the actual surface while it stays smooth for, for anything uh, reasonable, for any reasonable location you would want those points to be in. As a next step now, I am um, copying the entire working folder that we have been uh, working on so far uh, just to have a, a second version of a bulbous bow here that I will quickly sketch up for you so that you get an idea uh, what else is possible. Um, but finding the point that was used to establish the tangency towards the stem contour here for the initial bulb, bulb uh, and dragging that up, you can see that immediately we get a an entirely different topology here for the surface. So uh, just moving those two points to reasonable locations uh, and you can already see that uh, we now have a bulbous spell that features a distinct sharp knuckle line here uh, at the transition towards the remainder of the forebody. For comparison, I'll just quickly bring in here the smooth version of the bulbous spell. Uh, if we look at the transition towards the remainder of the forebody here, um, if I just quickly uh, turn that surface to the same color as the remainder, you can see that there is barely any transition visible. So this is really a very smooth surface that uh, was attached here in a very simple means. <clears throat> Thank you very much for tuning in. And please keep in mind that the approach shown in this video is, of course, only one of the many, many ways to go after a task like this. I hope you could appreciate the uh, ideas shown in this video, and please stay tuned for the next one coming up.